Hello. So I made this little program which can hide processes from Task Manager. And let me show you how it works. And after I show you that, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the program. Now keep in mind that this is only going to work on the x64 bit versions of Windows. And you need to have Visual C++ installed, which you can easily get by going to Google or whatever you use. And just go Visual C++, click on the first link, and just download the x64 bit version. Once you have it installed, once you have everything ready, you downloaded this, then you should be ready to go. Uh, you don't need this, these are just debug files. So when you download it, you should see something like this. Now, if I open my task manager, you can see every process that's running. There is Discord, there is OBS, Explorer, whatever. A lot of files. But say for example, you want to hide a file. So the way you would do that, you have to go into the app data and you're going to create a new text document. So just go hide.txt. Now you have to name it hide.txt, otherwise um, the handle won't be able to read processes. So say I want to hide notepad. If I go notepad, you can see notepad is open and we can see the process name. Now if you want to see the process name, you're going to have to click here and show process name. So let's go ahead and add some processes. So for example, I want to hide notepad.exe, discord, I cannot type, discord.exe. You can see them running now, but if I go into the program, which is here, now you have to run into the administrator, otherwise it's not going to be able to inject this thing into task manager. So go here, run the administrator. And let's, so let me show you, you can see here, we have process poofer, notepad, we have discord. But if I go enter, enter, it should disappear just like it did now. So to actually show the window back, you're going to have to hold the insert key. And you're going to see the logs and you're going to see everything in here. Now it only works while you're holding the insert key. So keep that in mind. If you don't have a, the insert key or you have some other problem, you can kill the process by just going into CMD. Now run into the administrator. And you're going to type task kill I am process spoofer dot exe and then slash F. Once you press enter, it's going to kill it and that's about it. Now if you want to make the spoofer hidden as well, if you want it gone, you're gonna go let's say we create a new file. I'm gonna name it spoofer. Well it's a folder. And you just move all the files in there. Now if you go into the app data and say you move the spoofer in there. If I reload it, you can see that uh, where's it? oh here it is. It's right here. Hopefully Windows Defender doesn't delete it because it's a hundred percent gonna flag it as malicious because this is the definition of fucking malware. Uh, it's injecting itself, it's editing memory, doing all the crazy shit, so, you know. This is gonna trigger some flags. Anyway, if you go back and you click on view, just go and check the file name extensions, check the hidden items, and you go here, properties, hidden, apply it to this folder only. You can also hide this so it's invisible, make it hidden. And if you go back, well, let's run the process first as administrator. Let's go here and the process is gone. You can't see shit. And if you hide, uh, if you hide the hidden items, then it will be simply gone.
and you can't see the process in the task manager because it's obviously hidden now that would be this that would be that <laughs> or that would be it for this video if you have any questions I'll leave a comment and I will make sure to help you if you have any suggestions whatever just tell me and I'll try my best to respond to you and to do something thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video